it's not about what you wear or what you drive or how much money you got. It's about being a symbol of this great nation and standing up for what's right every day of our lives and raising our children to do the same, to help preserve the freedom that makes us Americans. Now that's American made. My name is Austin Wilmarth. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. I served six years in the United States Army as a 19 Delta Cavalry Scout from 2000 to 2006 with two deployments in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. I found out about the Lone Star Warrior Outdoors program through a friend in town. Uh, sounded like something that was really up my alley. Uh, I got online, applied, really easy to do. Out of the blue one summer day, I got a call from Mr. Chris Gill uh, asking if I'd like to come down and do a hunt. Texas in December, so I uh, talked it over uh, with the wife and uh, made plans to attend. Once we arrived at the ranch, um, we got broke up into our groups and I was with, I believe, four other guys at my property, um, the Coal Creek Ranch, and uh, I was still a little reserved, honestly feeling a little homesick. I said I had a new baby at home, meeting new guys, and I'm always kind of been that way, a little reserved at first. Uh, uh, you know, kind of observe and report like I did in the military, you know, I just take my time. They all stayed up late having a good time that night and, uh, you know, I went to bed early. I And I can remember somebody coming into the bedroom like, who's this guy? Like, I didn't in introduce myself or nobody even really knew who I was. But then the, the next morning I was feeling better, feeling kind of more relaxed and uh, got in our little groups and uh, ran into a few guys that were actually from Colorado Springs that had come in from another ranch and really the 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 brotherhood just developed from there, you know, we joking around, having a good time, telling war stories, that kind of stuff, you know, the, the stuff that this, that this program helps us do to help relieve that stress and, and to feel better and to be able to talk about it and process things. When we get group, big groups of veterans like this together, it, it's funny how this camaraderie develops just out of nowhere, like we just, because we're all the same, you know, we may have had different experiences. Some guys might have had it good, some guys might have had it real bad. But you know, we were all over there. Uh, we all served, we all have our own experiences that we bring together and it, it just makes it better for everybody. Everybody can, you can share, you can tell your story, you can laugh, you can cry, you know, we're here for you. And, and these guys were strangers a day ago and it, it, you just instantly become friends. It, it's pretty amazing. The last night of the hunt, we were having a, a pretty nice bonfire, having a good time, telling stories, joking around like we always were. Um, and then somebody brought out a flag. Uh, the flag had been retired, and uh, we were each given pieces of it to retire ourselves in the fire. Um, it sort of just started out kind of normal, you know, it's an important thing for us to do as, as soldiers, veterans, Marines, whatever, you know, we, we fought for that flag. We'll take care of it and uh, as we started going around everybody kind of had a, a little story to tell and I think I was probably near the end you know and still fairly reserved you know I hadn't really told my story as as of yet and uh, you know when it got to me I, I felt comfortable enough um, and I felt it was fair to share my story and the impact that this program has and, and share it with the founder and, and the people that support it not just the veterans, you know, because they said we all have our own, our own stories. Um, but it, it was important for me to open up and, and let them know how important it was to me. So I was going through a pretty rough patch, had some stuff going on in my personal life, and my world kind of seemed to be falling in around me. Um, you know, I'm married, I have three kids now, I had two at the time, a uh, new baby, and, uh, you know, suicide, it started to look like an option. Um, but one thing that really kept me going was I was just, I've been talking about coming down on this hunt since June or July when Chris called me, even, even through my own elk hunting season, which I look forward to every year. It was like, I, I gotta go down there and do this. You know, this is an opportunity once in a lifetime. And uh, it, it made an impact and, and 
it, it was a tough time and, and made it through, fortunately. Um, but having this program available is, is, is a big part of that, me being here today and uh, telling that story. So a after the flag ceremony, I, uh, I pulled Chris Gill aside and, and kind of told him, you know, and, and I could tell he was processing some things too, we all were, but uh, I wanted to let him know that, you know, by him purchasing that plane ticket, that, you know, that's what kept me going. You know, knowing that somebody had, had taken a chance with me, had, had given me an opportunity, I wasn't gonna let that go to waste. And, and I felt like Chris needed to hear that and know that the value of his program for me, um, and I'm sure for everybody else there. Suicide's something that, you know, you hear a lot of, the, the whole 22 thing, and I'm not really gonna go into that. Um, it, one is too many, you know, 22 is obviously way too much, but uh, the details of that are a little skewed, so <laughs> I'm not gonna go to that. But, you know, the, a big thing is, is and, and believe me, I was there, um, but, you got to make suicide not an option. Um, it just, it can't be. It's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And uh, I can think of one thing, even before my military, uh, in high school, they had us go through and, and meet with this counselor. And, and one thing he said to me, and it's always stuck with me, and, and even though I've been close to doing it myself, how, uh, it was how suicide is the most selfish thing you can do. Um, it really is. You just, you're taking yourself away from from everybody else and you know it leaves so much trouble in its wake you know just make it not an option you know reach out get help there's there's resources out there I feel like the program has a, a lasting impact you know not only did I make some great new friends I made contacts people I can reach out with but I made three or four of the guys lived in Colorado Springs you know and I never knew them never knew they existed and uh, you know, I feel like I have a better support network now, even with the guys down here in Texas. You know, I may be three states away, but I can pick up that phone, call, and they'll answer. And they'll be there for me for what I need. And likewise, they know they can call me. And, and I'm here for you guys. You know, like we talked about, uh, it, it's a brotherhood. It really is. And it, it makes an impact. It's not about coming down to hunt and kill stuff and, and throw stuff on the wall. It's about sharing experience with people that have done the stuff that you've done and you can be yourself and you can make new friends and, and you can be successful it, it's this is empowers us empowers me that's what programs like this do um, it's it's so refreshing you get the humdrum of everyday life and you know work and school and families and all that and you know sometimes we just have to swallow a lot of our emotions and, and that can be a, a heavy burden to bear so Having that network is, it, for me, it's invaluable. The, the program was so much more than the great people, um, the community, the veterans, the families, everybody that came out and you know shook our hands and said thank you and just went out of their way to do stuff for us. It just that makes me want to give back, you know, any way I can. Being here, doing this, it it, it matters. This program matters and it makes a difference. Being a veteran and in, in, in my line of work, I get lots of questions, you know, what can I do? What can I do to help the veterans? You know, there's, there's so many of us out there that need help um, in, in many different ways. Um, but I would encourage someone that's, that's interested in, in actually seeing their money put to work and, and actually having an impact, um, you know, and, and putting a smile on somebody's face that maybe hasn't smiled in a long time. It, you know, look at Lone Star Warriors Outdoors. It's, it's a phenomenal program. They're doing great things. Like I said, it's not about the hunt. It's, it's not about the stuff. It's about the experience and making those connections and, and getting back to life, get back to living. You know, get out, enjoy life, get out in the woods, go smell the grass, you know, feel the breeze. And this program help, helps make that happen.